Teofimo Lopez and fans have been claiming that Terrence Crawford has been ducking a fight with him, and Crawford has responded to Teofimo's callout. Teofimo Lopez has made it clear that he wants to fight Terrence Crawford more than any other fighter out there, and he stated, If you look at my track record, everything that I talk about, I walk it as well. We don't just talk the talk to amp something up, we want to walk the walk. And I just had to remind him that I'm the biggest cat in the world, absolutely. And because of that, we face fighters, great champions, and I look forward to facing a fighter like him after this fight against Jamaica. Ortiz. However, that pursues itself. This is not a publicity stunt here. I think that if you look at my record and everything it shows, it shows that I really choose to face the best. Because that's what the takeover is. What would I be if I didn't do these things? Who would I be if I didn't face the best? That is the only way I become greater. According to Bob Arum, he's very open to the fight, and it all comes down to what Terrence wants to do next. Bob stated, I promote Teofima. Teofimo says he wants that fight, and half of that fight, I can say, is going to happen, or should happen. I don't promote Terrence Crawford any longer. It's up to Terrence Crawford to see if he wants that fight, and if he does, I'm sure we'll be able to put it together. I certainly can't talk at this particular point for Terrence Crawford. It's up to them. So I can't say if the fight is realistic or not realistic. From the standpoint of Teofimo, if he's successful against Jermaine Ortiz on Thursday, Thursday night, yeah, sure, the fight can happen. Teofimo Lopez is getting really tired of the top fighters sitting on their titles without fighting the up and coming fighters. I waited for Tank Davis and Wahid, nothing. I waited for Devin Haney, nothing. I waited for Terrence Crawford, nothing. Nobody is holding down, holding down. Everybody's just collecting what's theirs and saying, this is mine. I gotta take care of me and my family. And it's like, yes, you do. But what about the next generation behind us that are looking up to us and saying, that's the fight I wanna be like. Teofimo has called out Terrence for cherry picking his fights. And he stated, I'm going to say it here. Terrence Bud Crawford likes to go after guys that are not the same or they're injured. And I'll say it right here. A lot of his fights that he has had, he has faced injured fighters. Now he wants to face someone. What are the chances of Saul Canelo Alvarez? Saul Canelo Alvarez is on the decline. Saul, whether he likes it or not, it is the truth. He's had his rise. Now he's starting to depreciate. We can see it. He's getting heavier, getting hefty, real flat footed. He's not as light as before. Who's going to want to jump on that? Terrence Bud Crawford, because it looks good. He beats the face of boxing, however. You fought a guy that's on the decline. You're not a tough guy. You just fight soft guys that make it seem like they're tough guys just so that you can be the guy. But he's no guy. Why can't you fight me? I'm fresh and I'm new and I'm clean. Why can't we fight? Why can't you shut up the young buck? Teofimo Lopez Sr. really believes that his son could take Terrence with ease. Like Terrence speed Crawford. kills everything, you know what I'm saying? And my son is 10 times faster than, than Terrence. He's smarter than Terrence. He's got everything to beat Terrence Crawford, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's a fight that's logically could be made. You know, he's going over here talking about Canelo, man. Canelo's like about three weight divisions above him, you know. Um, you saw you saw what happened with Charlo, you know. I, I, I don't think that's a fight that's possible, you know. I think he should start thinking about the, the future. He got to think about the future guys that are coming up in the weight divisions, the guys that want to really fight him for real, and that's my son. You know? Some time ago, Terrence Crawford heard that Teofimo was calling him out, and he tried to put him in his place. Terrence stated, Teofimo Lopez, you little bit better worry about them little guys that's on your ass down there in your weight class. It's crazy. Every time I see your ho ass you don't even look my way. But when you're in front of a camera, you have so much to say. You're a pussy. Hey Teofimo Lopez, nah, real sh Good luck in your fight. Focus on him because he can fight and I don't want you to look bad worrying about me when you have other problems on your hands. This didn't stop Teofimo from calling Terrence out though and he stated, I want my flowers now. The only way I can do that is by beating Terrence Crawford now and getting that respect. This is the Terrence Crawford era, then that's the guy. I give him his flowers. However, I'm a fighter as well and I know I'm the best and he says he 
he's the best. So we're not too far away in weight class and we can make that happen. They're trying to block my vision of getting to Crawford because they don't want me to do it. Tito Mercado Jr. really believes that Terrence would be able to knock out Teofimo. I think it's gonna be a long night for Tiffin. Well, I think uh, Crawford. Uh, I think Crawford knocks him out within maybe six rounds. To be honest with you, I think one Crawford just right now at a, at a point where he's so mature and uh, he has a lot of experience, man. You know, he just he's, right now you, you can't really stop him right now. He's a guy and uh, Tiffimo. You know, Tiffimo is a great fighter too, but I feel like there's times where he has a lot of bad nights. You know, with uh, Sander Martin or Cambosis, he didn't look too good. I mean, you can't really have an off night with Crawford. You know, basically. So, uh, Danny Garcia definitely favors Terrence in that fight, but he also believes that it would be considerably even in a bunch of ways. Danny stated, I would love to see that fight at 147. I think that's a great fight. Teo's big and strong for 140. He dominated Josh Taylor. I thought that was going to be a good fight and he just walked right through him. He was way stronger than him. He was faster than him. Him putting on weight actually helped him. I feel like it would probably help him more at 147. That would be a great fight at 147. Crawford comes from 135 too. Right now he's naturally bigger because he's been at that weight longer, but both of them are coming from 135. You would have to favor Crawford, but on paper it's an even fight. Coach Rell definitely doesn't think that the fight would be very close though, and he sees Terrence having an easy night. It's really realistic, but would it live up to the standards that everybody hoping that it would? No, Terrence Crawford no. Steamroll, uh, that kid. Great win against Josh Teller. You know what I'm saying? Excellent win. Moving up to 140, being strong. But 47, you won't be that strong. Terrence Roberts is a different animal, bro. That boy been doing his thing since 30, 35, 40, 47. And moving up 54, I think he'll do a thing there. Uh, smart. He don't play with boxing, and he just a steamroll tip, you know, he just too big, too big for tip. Sean Porter, on the other hand, really believes that the fight would be a great one to see. Sean stated, I'm past the beef or whatever. What I'm looking at right now is how good of a fight this is. I think that it is a really good fight, and whilst Terrence Crawford has fought himself into superstardom, he has fought himself out of fights against the likes of Jerome Boots Ennis, just because Ennis doesn't command that kind of money at this point in time. I feel like Teofimo does. I feel like it it could be a good fight if this were to be something that really gets going. I think this fight sells, and I think that this is a really good stylistic fight. I don't think the Teofimo is ready for Crawford just yet, but this is what boxing needs. It needs guys who have a light over them, talking to one another, getting it going, getting people excited, and then, on top of that, making it happen. Keyshawn Davis really believes that Teofimo is just trying to promote his name and most recent fight, though and he stated, I just think Teofimo is promoting his fight. He's calling out the cash cow of the sport and everybody's buying into it, putting more attention on his upcoming fight. I just feel like he's promoting his fight. That's the problem because a lot of people say they want to fight. A lot of people said they were going to fight and then pulled out of the fight. So we as people need to realize this is not true. It's a lot of fake media going around. As for Terrence Crawford's most recent response, response to Teofimo's call out, he kept his response short and sweet as he stated, fuck Teo. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of our other videos on the screen right now.